Hey guys, so today is a very exciting day. I'm going to go do laser hair removal. I've done waxing before, so and like sugaring, which is kind of like the same thing. So yeah, I already kind of know what it feels like to have like a lot of pain down there. I'm a little bit nervous, but not really. And also I have like a big ass tattoo. Like literally it's like from here to here, so I feel like it shouldn't be that bad. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stay too much. I know that I Your hands are thick right now, you're feeling it more. But it's not bad. 
that as well. It's not that bad. Make sure you come every six weeks. Mm -hmm. Very important. Because once you delay coming, your hair is going to get sick again. And what we're doing is we're catching the hair before it gets sick again. So you can thin it out. And that's how we'll find the hair will get thinner, thinner, and less and less hair. Okay, so um, how often, like, does it grow regular, like after you laser the first time? It's going to be a slower hair growth. So, I feel like most people... Guys, it doesn't even hurt. I don't feel anything right now. I did my laser, guys, and honestly, I loved it. Like, when she was done, I was like, oh my god, that's it. Ooh. Hello. Danabelle? Mm -hmm. It was so quick. It was like 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes, probably. And I barely felt anything, like, in the bottom. Like, in the bottom half, in the top half, and inside a little bit, you feel it. But that's really it, I mean, for me. But also, I'm really, really good with, like, tattoos and that type of pain so i think that helped but i recommend it it's way faster and way like easier to go through than waxing truthfully but i definitely recommend it yeah i'm running on no sleep right now but this is going to be i think my fourth session i haven't blocked a session in a minute so I hope it doesn't hurt too much. The last one hurt a lot because I waited. I waited like a month, I think. No, I waited, I don't know, but I waited a minute before getting it. So it hurt a lot. So hopefully this one doesn't really hurt. I'm so tired. I could fall asleep. I was falling asleep in the cab. like a little summary clip to this video um basically i started lasering in may and we're now in january it's been eight months since i started lasering and um in the video you guys see how it went on my first session i was looking super cute it was real exciting and i loved it i still love it if you do want to get laser i do not recommend for you to like keep shaving in between they tell you that you're supposed, like, not that you're supposed to, but they tell you that you can, like, you can shave as many times as you want, whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't recommend it. Personally, I feel like when I only shaved one time, I really found that, like, it worked way better. Some girls told me that you should, like, instead of shaving right before, you should wax, like, a week before or, like, a week and a half before. So, um, this is what happened, right? When I went to do my fifth one... Before I did it, I, I heard the tip about waxing. So I tried it, right? Basically, the, lot, the whole logic behind it is that obviously when you wax, your hair is going to be way thinner and softer than when you shave. So when you wax, the reason they tell you to shave and they don't tell you to wax is because they want you to do it the day before. And if you wax the day before, then your hair follicle like from the root is going to be pulled out. But if you um if you wax a week or a week and a half before, depending on how your hair grows, then um by the time that week passes, you will have that little follicle under the skin. Like you won't have any hair on top, but that little follicle that would have been pulled out if you would have waxed right before is gonna 
have grown in that week so when you go laser it's the same thing like if you would have shaved okay i hope i explained that good because when they explained this to me i was like yo that makes a lot of fucking sense so i tried the waxing thing right this is what happened i think i waxed a little bit too early i don't know for me personally the laser effect like when i did wax usually when i used to wax before like i'll wax and then the hair won't grow for like like two weeks two weeks and a half something like that but when i waxed this time i waxed i i waxed two weeks in advance before my laser thinking that my hair wasn't gonna grow at all like you know i was gonna be good for when i laser but that didn't happen i waxed and then the hair like started coming back really really quickly i don't know if it was like i don't know what was going on there so what i learned from that was that i'm just gonna wax like instead of waiting two weeks before my laser i'm gonna wax maybe like a week before yeah we have some really good progress going i have a six session on february 2nd so i'm gonna do a whole other like six six session package and i'm gonna try to really like be strict on the waxing thing um instead of the shaving i'm just obviously i'm gonna do it a little bit like more closer to the laser and that way i'm gonna let you guys know like how that works out and if it just happens that it keeps going back really fast with the waxing i'm gonna just stick to shaving um right before my session and i'm gonna just do it like um just once that's one thing that i like if you're gonna laser just shave that one time before your session with the whole um process right of like what happens after you laser like how does everything like go right so you go and you laser for your first time oh my god so exciting ah hair removal it's actually really exciting what happens right when you laser at least your first session it's gonna grow back like if you shave and it's gonna just everything just grow back normal and then this is the like crazy part is then it falls out <laughs> like it literally falls out like in your like in the shower when you pee it, it's like you see the hairs on the toilet like if you exfoliate it starts falling out you go like this to the hairs literally and they'll just like they'll just come out like nothing it, it's so cool i used to always like pull them out i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but they were like they will fall out so easily bro it's not like i was doing like like so i don't think it's that serious this is where the shaving comes in so whew, i really hope i'm i'm like stay with me okay stay with me stay with me stay with me so it's gonna you're gonna laser it's gonna grow it's gonna fall out then it's gonna grow again this is a six week period so it falls out within like it's like it takes like a, a good two weeks now remember you have to laser every six weeks that's the minimum six to eight weeks but if you want to like get this show on the road you want to do six weeks now you're gonna have four weeks left right because two weeks it grew it fell out now you have four weeks left in those four weeks personally i would recommend do not shave like again they're gonna grow really really smooth and like thin so if you can like just do not shave until the sixth week when you have to laser again or which is what i'm gonna start doing that fifth week you will wax and then you know you wait the week and then you you laser that's that's your options that's that's what i think for the best results if you have a man or something or a little boo whatever just tell them like listen i'm going through this process like some people don't care about hair some people do but honestly it's so thin bro like so, like they'll they'll be fine so yeah that's that now let me explain these pictures so the first pictures i have are from my third session so i took a picture right after and this is kind of how it goes every session so like this is what you can expect for every session all right so the i took a picture two days after the third session which is going to be the top picture and you can see like all those dots of the hair starting to grow out just like if you were to normally shave then it starts falling out and then literally in between that one week of growth and the two and a half weeks after the session which you're gonna see the pictures right next to each other i didn't do anything like that was literally just the hair falling out and you could see after those two and a half weeks I literally have barely any hair and that's kind of how it stays it, it grows like a little bit longer but you'll you will have patches that are just like literally like empty like smooth 
it's lit i'm telling you like if you have not lasered or you're thinking about it i highly recommend it okay so this is the second picture now the second picture i took it um on my fourth session you can see the difference here one week after my fourth session i already like didn't have barely any hair like eventually you'll start having less and less hair i'm on my third week of my fifth session so i also have a picture of that i'm gonna insert that picture by itself so this is three weeks after the fifth session now i'm gonna show you guys a comparison of three weeks after the third or like two and a half weeks after the third session which is at the top three weeks after the fourth session and three weeks after the fifth session just so you guys can see like the difference in like how the hair kind of grows and like how empty it's getting and i haven't shaved at all in between my fifth session and like the next session i'm gonna get in february i haven't shaved at all it's, it's literally just been falling out and just doing its thing right now i'm gonna look up some frequently asked questions about lasering and i'm gonna try to answer them for you guys just because i feel like this is something that you know everybody should just get on i'm, I'm trying to do like a full body laser at this point like team no hair does laser removal hurt the pain for me is like the most like a four out of ten also if you shave a lot in between it's probably gonna hit you like a five and a half six like maybe yeah five and a half six i wouldn't even go that deep to say seven not for me personally and if you got tattoos and stuff like that girl you're gonna be good how much does it cost so i paid 352.50 cents and that's for six sessions and they still have the sale going on in erase spa they they get regularly 700 oh my god i mean they've had the sale for a long time so i don't know next question one thing i know people might ask is like if you're a darker skin tone um or just something that people don't know like if you're a darker skin tone you have to be very very careful with laser um i don't know about erase spa specifically like how they do with like darker skin tones but um i had a conversation with one girl and she told me that like they can burn you or something like that i don't know like something with like the darker skin pigmentation and like the laser sometimes it doesn't work so you you have to be very careful and you might want to like do a little bit more research and go to a a spa that's like specializes in darker skin tones because you want to like make sure they don't you know fuck you up how do you prepare so i would definitely suggest you um i kind of answered that but i will definitely suggest you exfoliate like a week before you don't want to have any you don't want to do any tanning uh i think it says like up to six weeks before you don't want to have any exposure to sun and for 24 hours after you um laser you cannot go to the gym and you cannot like um be exposed to sun either afterwards so it's pretty simple instructions nothing crazy so i hope that was as clear like i try to be as clear as can be i try to give you guys as much information as i have on the whole process like it's a 10 out of 10 for me it's it's quick it's painless okay not painless they don't do too much and you're out